guys, so today I'm going to be making a video, and I just wanted to say that I'm really sorry for not making, like, many videos lately. Um, so yeah, I'm super sorry about that. And, um, I'm going to try to start doing at least one video, um, every single day again, because that's what I was doing before. And, yeah, but I just have not been doing that lately. Like, I try to do a video every day, but obviously I run out of ideas sometimes. Or I just don't have time to make a video every day. So, yeah, and hopefully today or tomorrow I will be doing the shout-out video because I have two shout-outs to give. And if any of you guys want a shout-out, then let me know in the comments if you didn't already ask for one because I know that I have two people to give a shout-out. But anyways, this was a requested video to do a video on how to create this zombie horse. So this is my zombie horse. I'm going to be using a fold this time because, yeah, this is an old custom and it's really gross and sticky. So, yeah, I'm going to wash it off first and it doesn't really matter if any of the paint comes off because it's not a big deal, but I need to wash that off. But anyways, I'm going to be using that fold to customize instead of like a full size horse because yeah so this is what it'll look like it might not look exactly like this but something like this so now i'm just going to show you everything that you're going to need and i'm not going to do a video on how to make my skeleton horse because really all you need to do is paint a black horse and then paint a bunch of bones on it so it's not really a big deal like it's not really that hard so yeah but let's get started so the first thing that you're going to obviously need is a horse and i'm just going to wash mine off before i get started because it's all sticky and gross but i'm using a full you can use a full or a full size horse um and you can use any type of model horse like an off-brand horse or whatever just a horse so yeah and then you're obviously going to need some paint brushes and i like to have a paper towel or something just because and then you're going to need some water and there's actually like really good lighting right now so yeah and also something to put your paints on um i'm using the back of a paper plate because the other side already has paint on it this is what i use to paint my other horses so i'm just going to use the back because i'm too lazy to find something else to use and then obviously you're going to need your paint so i'll show you the colors that you're okay doing. so i already rinsed my horse off he's dry now but anyway so now for the colors that you're going to need you're going to need the colors that i use anyway is white it's called like titanium white or whatever it doesn't really matter what kind of white it just needs to be white obviously um next is you're obviously going to need some black this is called mars black um this is like raw umber that's the color it's like a gray color like a dark gray so yeah so some sort of like gray you're gonna need red like a dark red i like to use don't use like bright colored reds like this use like a darker color like a darker shade of red and then i'm just using some light green as well and i forgot to mention if you want to you can have like what i do with my horses is i have like this like um i forget what it's called but you like spray it on the horse after you paint it and it just makes them all shiny and um make sure it like helps so the paint doesn't rub off or whatever that's what i use it's optional i don't have it with me right now because it's down in my garage so yeah but let's get started and yeah. okay so i'm just gonna grab my horse here here he is and if you want to you can just put on like a white coat of paint um i'm not going to but as you can tell i'm really customizing a horse this is like a super old custom but you can put on a white layer of paint if you want to. I'm too lazy to do that, so I'm not going to. But yeah, and I'm going to take my, this color, this raw umber or gray. I'm just going to call it gray. But this is like a gray color, and you're going to want to take it. And I like to mix it with a teeny bit of white um, to get a really nice gray color. So let me just do that. Okay, here's my red eyes. And... Like a, it's kind of like a gray color. It's more brown, but it works really nice when you mix it with white. Grab my white, 
ini check this one score teeny bit of white right there just a teensy bit to make sure that I get the right color gray that I want and now I'm just going to dip my brush in water and just mix it in just like this and as you can tell I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up but it's making like a nice gray color just like that so that's the color that you kind of want I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up but it just looks like that um, now if you have like a really nice color gray that you want to use you, you don't have to mix it with white but my gray is more like I don't know how to explain it, but I have to mix my color with the white. There we go. It's kind of gray. It's really hard to see. The camera's not picking it up, but yeah. So that's the color that you want. You want a gray. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it. I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush. I'm going to attempt to take a little bit on my brush because my brush is like covered in gray paint. I'm just going to dip it in a teensy bit of water. And I'm just going to start painting it on my horse. And as you can see, it's really nice shade of gray and it's just gonna look something like this you're just gonna want to put a nice thin layer on of uh, paint so yeah i'm gonna time lapse this Okay, so as you saw the time lapse, I painted the rest of my horse's body um, gray. I didn't show the whole thing because I had to paint his belly and stuff, and I just decided to make that time lapse pretty short. But as you can see, he's got his first layer of paint on, and it doesn't really look like a gray color just because that's the first layer. So if it doesn't really look the right color, that's just because it's so watered down and you're going to need quite a few layers to get the right color that you want, which is gray. So yeah, and this is just what it looks like. I roughly went over the legs just because I'm lazy and yeah. So now basically what you're going to want to do is just let that dry. And yeah, so there it is. Okay, so now most of his body is just dry. It doesn't take too long for it to dry. But most of his body is just dry now. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my second layer. And again, you're going to want to pretty much just do the same thing as you did before. And sorry if you can hear my dog. But you're just going to get some paint with some water and just start painting over your horse's bodies and it over your horse's body and it's perfectly fine if you paint over the eyes because you're going to want to repaint those anyways so it doesn't really matter um you can paint over the eyes if you want to you don't have to but eventually you are going to have to repaint them to make them look like a zombie so, yeah. Okay, okay, so I just got finished with the second layer of paint, and as you can see, he's looking a bit better now. He's more gray. As you can see, he's a little color. Sorry if the sun's like super bright. But as you can see, the color is starting to look more gray or whatever. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, so I'm going to do a few more layers now, and I will see you guys when he's pretty much done so yeah so just keep doing layers until it's like your horse is like fully gray so yeah